We are joined backstage at backstage, well, on stage at backstage by Darren York, who's no stranger to this stage, although it's been quite some time. Mm. And we're delighted to have Darren with us this week working. And he's here to tell us about some exciting stuff coming up. Yes. Uh, So I'm in a show called Fergal that we developed down in Limerick last year. So we're delighted to finally be bringing it to backstage because it's been a little dream of mine. I haven't been on this stage in 15 years or something like that. Oh. Babes in the Woods was a panto is the last one I remember being in. Uh, so Fergal, is, it's a one-man show with a live shadow box of beautiful imagery happening behind. Uh, it's a non-verbal show, so there's no words in it. It's all action, but there is a story to it that's very imaginatively told. Uh, a little bit in the style of Mr. Bean. So if you like Mr. Bean, you'll probably love Fergal. A family show for we say three plus for all ages uh, because we've had people that were very touched by us and a lot of younger kids who are highly entertained by us uh, because it's just simple story is the man wants to be on his own because he's very uncomfortable around other people and then he finally is on his own on the beach one day and he feels he can kind of be himself and be free and act the aegis a little bit but then he realizes without giving too much away that he wasn't on his own at all and other people have seen everything and he gets very embarrassed and everything kind of escalates from there and it's uh, I would say it's a comedy a comedy with with heart to it with a lot of heart it sounds I mean you sold me at Mr Bean because I I know my kids have been knocking down the door now to book tickets the school shows are booking really well the 10 o'clock is sold out there's still availability for the 12 o'clock and then the family show on Saturday the 28th we have availability for the 12 o'clock and tell us about the 3 o'clock show we're very excited about this the 3 o'clock is a relaxed performance which means that we just kind of play to the audience that's here. It's very, it's, it's an, an, an inclusive show, I suppose. So uh, particularly for any kids that have uh, complex needs or specific needs, we kind of uh, t- cater to everyone and make it as inclusive as we can. So we welcome everybody to consider that show as well. It, it's still really playful and really fun, really engaging. Um, and it's, it's responsive always to the audience that we have. So. It's not the type of thing that maybe we need to worry about keeping ourselves quiet in the audience. Sometimes a bit of noise is really good for this show. Uh, it's also the type of show, if, you're, if your kids are quite audi- audible, uh, we've done this show a few times where we just have narrators in the audience <laughs> because it's non-verbal. It's lovely to hear them talk. The rowdier, the better. Experience. Yeah, <laughs> it's lovely. So if, if, if it's the type of thing that uh, you are... Second guessing, oh, I don't know if that'd be for my kids. I would say consider it because the, 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 that show probably would be. Fabulous. Yeah. And we also have like quiet rooms available. So mm-hmm. if anybody feels they're getting kind of overwhelmed, we'll have a space available that people can go and chill out, take a moment and maybe come back in if they feel Lovely. like it. Yeah. And we have our, our social story on Backstage. So we'll link that on your page as well that people can find out a bit about coming to Backstage before they actually get here. Just take away the kind of fear of the unknown, say, for that performance, which would be great. You thought of everything. Ah, sure, look, we're all over it. (laughs) 